Hi folks, welcome back to my hoard. So, about 36 degrees, batteries aren't charged, and as a matter of fact, they're barely trying. It's Friday, December 25th, 1.2 degrees Celsius, somewhere around the quarter to three, and this one says 34 degrees, 34.7, almost 35 degrees, so we're almost in agreement. You guys can probably hear the noise from the driveway. I figured I'd take a look at all my generators from a frequency and voltage point of view to figure out, given that I have a choice, which ones I should actually be using. So, next up is the Generac. This is a Generac 4000 XL. As you guys could hear, it's loud. I think it's a 4,000 continuous, I don't know, 4,500, 5,000 peak. I like this generator for one big reason. When the uh, 20 amp outlet, when you ask for 20 amps, you get 20 amps. I mean, this thing has a real good starting current. It has a um, 1630 plug for running um, the well, and this is what I run the well on. Also, the rest, including the 12 volts DC. You could also hear that this is noisy. It's a very noisy generator. Um, that's true. And also, it's pretty mean on gas. set this up so you can see it. So, the only, um, yeah, it's helping. Um, I don't know what's better. You got a glare that way. There you go, I think you can see that. So 19 watts, the only thing running is the fan for the heater. Hertz, 61.8, 62. Once again, not great. Turning the lights on. The frequency is pretty constant. Voltage down a little bit. Wattage. Turning the heater on, 800 watts. You could see it hardly reacted. Voltage is down quite a lot. Frequency is down. Voltage is quite a quite a ways down. Wattage. It's actually taking a while to get the wattage up. That voltage just isn't coming up. That voltage is down. Back to frequency. So it's holding its frequency pretty good, but the voltage is down. Boy, it's kicking out some nice heat for me. Here. Plug in these lights. Use the bad camera work. You know the one-handed man. So it fired all those up, including the compact fluorescent. You see the frequency is down a little bit more again. Wattage, we're almost at a thousand watts. Turning the heater up to high. Voltage down, frequency down. Now 
that's with the uh, heater is completely off. See, I'm only using 300 watts voltage climbing again. Okay, there's the voltage. Turning on this guy. Frequency, or that's the wattage. And once again, frequency. Here, let me turn the gas off. I have to be—I uh, have to be honest with you. The um, the uh, China Electric Start Champion slash Predator pre slash whoever put their name on it recently won actually uh, from a frequency and voltage point of view was better than the Generac the Generac has some nice heavy amps it's good at starting the well um, for the construction business I think it's pretty tough um, what I don't care about like about it the reason why it's not top 10 on my list is it's noisy and I have a tendency to be sensitive to a lot of noise. Noise bothers me. The generator, the first generator I ever owned was a Coleman. It had an eight and a half or an eight horse Briggs, the kind where um, the valves are in the block and um, the, uh, the, the muffler comes right out the side of the head. You basically, between the intake of the cylinder, the valve and where the muffler begins, you're looking at like two inches. Anyway, that was my first generator. It made so much noise that quite honestly, rather than listen to it, I would prefer to sit in the dark and cold. <laughs> so how's that for a noisy generator when you can't stand it that badly? Um, you know, I'm very pleased comparing the Generac and the China guy um, to the lifelong or whatever the hell it's called true life um, generators comparing that to the inverter the inverter has some really nice clean power it's 60 Hertz 59.9 and it stays right there and um, that 120 21 22 volts and once again it stays right there it doesn't go up and down one has to love that in a generator right you don't need variations going into your electronics you don't need spikes you don't need any of that craziness um, if one has the dough the bucks right and you truly want a nice generator for your electronics I would suggest going for the inverter if you have the ability to own more than one generator I would use an inverter for the electronics keep all those nice happy and healthy <coughs> excuse me and then I would use um, a brute forcer for everything else right um, a little variation on the frequency as long as your voltage don't spike up too bad you know your refrigerator would probably be okay um, your your well isn't that fussy you know those things aren't aren't too bad but when it comes to particularly what I worry about are the big screen TV you know the cable box um, the internet router stuff like that I worry about blowing up I have one um, last generator and it's a it's an old guy from the 60s um, it's a belt drive it looks like an old 6 volt car generator that is belt driven by Briggs and Stratton. It was actually um, commercially built. Somebody didn't hack this together in their in their basement. 
Um, and I think I'm going to drag that out and try to fire that up just just for um, a laugh, just to see if it does, see how well it behaves. All right, folks, I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down and remember to keep your head up. Enjoy all your days, and we'll see you guys shortly. Bye now.